Hey everybody, Ryan here. This is a quick, small uh, review of Lilo and Stitch for the PlayStation 1. This game is free to PlayStation Plus subscribers. That's how I have mine. I did not buy this. I got it free from PSN. Um, this game is pretty old, and if you're a fan of the show, then you might like this game. But also keep in mind the graphics are very dated since it's a PS1 game. Now, um, this I didn't really record much footage about this game, mo mainly because once you see the first level, you can already imagine how the rest of the game is going to be. And um, these are just the intro uh, scenes here. I'll let this play before I continue speaking. There you are. Hi. Listen, Lilo, I've got to go to work now, so I'll meet you in town at one o'clock, okay? Okay. One o'clock. That's ages away. Come on, Stitch. We can get some more photos from my wall. All right, that being said, we'll continue to the first level. Um, if anyone has ever played Crash Bandicoot for the PlayStation, then this game is gonna sort of disappoint you in a way because this game is more or less a Crash Bandicoot clone to the very core um, the only difference is she doesn't spin she stabs things with this glowing green thing you know, I'm not really sure what that is it looks like a knife but then again why would a little girl be having a knife cutting up animals in the forest in any case um the graphics are decent, they're not as amazing as Crash Bandicoot would be, the gameplay is decent as well. Um, this game has really bad scores on some other uh, video game review websites, but that, I guess it's well deserved. Um, the physics aren't that good in this game. I've fallen off this little tree branch here several times just trying to get across. It's kind of funny actually because it's such a big space to jump across. And then her attacking uh, isn't really... Um, spot on uh, hit collision. It, she just tends to attack and if you're lucky they'll run into you and get killed. If they don't run into you then they'll stay there. See, I mean, I could have stabbed him there and killed him just now, just by missing him. Accidentally, that is. But uh, more of the levels in this game are played by both Lilo and Stitch. And they're both basically platforming games. The further you get in this game, the more you're going to realize how much of a Crash Bandicoot clone this really is. I realized it was a clone the first time I uh, played it and I saw this level. Crash Bandicoot's a good game, and it's a, you know, it's a good game to be copied from, but depending on the character source and storyline, it could be a really bad choice to mimic. I wouldn't rec really recommend this game to anybody, but if you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber and you can get this for free, um, you should get it for free just to have it and let you know, someone try playing it. But I really wouldn't recommend buying this game. Not even for five dollars. 